Hey there, have you ever wondered how you can optimize your software development process through the power of cloud computing and Java? In this era of digital transformation, every organization is looking for a way to improve their services and processes. And cloud computing has become a key solution to many of these challenges. So, if you are a Java developer, it's time for you to explore the world of Java on cloud. Java is a highly scalable and versatile programming platform that is suitable for a wide range of applications. And with cloud computing, it's not possible to run Java application on a virtual platform. In the cloud, the benefits are numerous. From cost saving to improved scalability and availability, Java on cloud is a game changer for developers like you. In this video, we will help you understand why Java is such an excellent choice for cloud computing. We will cover topics like development strategies, troubleshooting and optimization tips. We will also guide you through the different types of cloud platforms that you can work with and how to optimize your code for efficient cloud computing. So, whether you are new to the world of Java on cloud or an experienced developer looking to take your skill to the next level, this video is a must watch. Our comprehensive guide will help you navigate the landscape of Java on cloud and make most of your exciting technology. Don't miss out on this opportunity to learn more about Java on cloud. Our video will give you a deep understanding of how to optimize your Java application for the cloud and how to be ahead of the curve in this emerging field. So let's learn together. But before that, cloud computing is a highly technical field and having a right certification can set you apart from the competition. Consider getting certified in the popular cloud computing platforms like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. Now, to help you with the step, we have a Caltech postgraduate program in cloud computing. This course will help you become an expert in Azure, AWS and GCP and let you master fundamental architecture principles and develop the skill needed to become a cloud expert. This postgraduate program in cloud computing will help you become an expert in designing, planning and scaling cloud implementation. After completing this course, you will gain Caltech CTME postgraduate certificate with 40 plus hands-on projects. You can check out the link in the description box below. Java is a popular programming language known for its flexibility, reliability and extensive ecosystem of library and frameworks. On the other hand, Google Cloud provides a rebirth platform for posting and running Java application allowing developers to leverage the scalability, reliability and performance benefit of the cloud. Now, Google Cloud offers several services and tools to support Java development and deployment. The first one on our list is App Engine. Google App Engine is fully managed platform as a service offering that allows you to develop Java application without worrying about infrastructure management. It automatically scales your application demand, provides built-in security features and supports popular Java frameworks like Spring Boot. Next we have Compute Engine. Compute Engine provides virtual machines VVMS, that allows you to run Java application with complete control over the underlying infrastructure. You can customize the VM configuration, install any required software or libraries and optimize the performance based on your specific needs. Now we have Kubernetes Engine. Kubernetes Engine is managed container or orchestration platform that enables you to deploy, scale and manage Java application using Docker containers. It provides a scalable and resistant infrastructure for running Java application, allowing you to leverage features like auto scaling, load balancing and rolling updates. Next we have Cloud Functions. Cloud Functions is a seamless computing platform that allows you to write and deploy Java functions in response to events. With Cloud Functions, you can focus on writing code without worrying about infrastructure management. It automatically scales your function and charges you only for the actual execution time. When deploying Java application on Google Cloud, you can leverage various services to optimize your code, troubleshooting issues and ensure efficient cloud computing. Now, let's dive into an explanation of working with Java on Google Cloud covering development strategies, optimization tips and different cloud platforms. Let's start with development strategies. The first one is App Engine. Google App Engine allows you to develop your Java application as a fully managed service. 
it handles scaling, monitoring and maintenance of your application. You can deploy your application using the App Engine flexible environment which offers more flexibility in terms of runtime and dependency or the App Engine standard environment. Next we have Kubernetes Engine. If you prefer containerizing development, Google Kubernetes Engine is a powerful option. It allows you to develop your Java application as a containers managed by Kubernetes. GKE provides auto scaling, load balancing and easy management of containerizing workloads. Next we have Compute Engine. For more control and flexibility, you can develop your application of Java on Google Compute Engine. Compute Engine provides virtual machines on which you can install and configure your Java application according to your requirements. Now, let's talk about troubleshooting. The first one is logs and monitoring. Google Cloud provides logging and monitoring tools like Google Cloud Logging and Cloud Monitoring. You can use these tools to collect and analyze logs, track performance metrics and troubleshoot issues in your Java application. Next we have Error Reporting. Google Cloud Error Reporting automatically collects and aggregates error from your Java application. It provides insights into the root cause of errors, helping you identify and fix issues quickly. Next is Stack Driver Debugger. Stack Driver Debugger allows you to inspect the state of your Java application at any code location without stopping or slowing it down. You can also set breakpoints and log custom debugging information, enabling you to troubleshoot issues in real time. Next, let's discuss optimization tips. First is scaling. Configure automatic scaling for your application to handle varying workloads. App Engine and GKE offers built-in scaling features that can automatically adjust the number of instance containers based on demand. Next is caching. Utilizing caching machinerism like Google Cloud Memory Store or Cloud CDN to reduce latency and improve performance by caching frequently accessed data. Next is database optimization. If your Java application relies on a database, consider using Google Cloud SQL or Google Cloud Spanner for managed and scalable database services. Optimize database queries using indexes effectively and consider data sharp technologies to distribute data and improve performance. Next we have cost optimization. Utilize Google Cloud's cost optimization features such as right sizing instances and leveraging auto scaling to optimize cost based on actual demands. Lastly, let's explore different cloud platform options. The first one is Google App Engine, a fully managed platform that allows you to deploy and scale application without worrying about infrastructure management. Next we have Google Kubernetes Engine, a managed Kubernetes service for deploying, managing and scaling containerizing application. Third one is Google Compute Engine provides virtual machines for running application with control over the infrastructure, configuration and scalability options. Next one is Google Cloud Functions, a serverless execution environment where you can deploy Java functions that automatically scales based on event triggers. The last one is Google Cloud Run. A serverless platform that allows you to run containerizing applications in any event driven manner. Now, to optimize your code for efficient cloud computing, consider leverage asynchronous programming, offload computational intensive tasks, use services, optimize network communication, and also use caching. Remember, that optimizing code for cloud computing involves a combination of architecture decisions, infrastructure configuration and codeless optimization. It's important to understand the specific requirements and constraints of your application and leverage the available tools and services provided by the cloud platform to achieve optimal performance and cost efficiently. So with this, we have reached the end of this video. Make sure to like and video and subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Thank you. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. 
Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.